A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Shrivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So, it's raining in Delhi. That is good. So, it brings a lot of relief from the Delhi summer and the heat. So, what next or what's in this video? Uh, I'm sorry, I, like, I don't have any swanky car or a girl out there on in the back end. The background is same again with the last videos Lamborghini so enjoy your ride in Lamborghini so move again so in this video I am going to show you or explain you what is the significance of master.cf file in the postfix okay the pre-request for this video is, is that you should be knowing how to configure a basic postfix MTA is that clear I I hope the requirement is very simple and you understand that that you should be able to configure a basic postfix server now I'll go back to my trusted virtual machine here it comes welcome virtual machine welcome okay uh, I'll explain you the basic idea behind if you uh, I I have the postfix installed here and configured here if I you go to the etc postfix folder that is actually the main folder for the or the main directory for the postfix and if I give a LL here, you can see a couple of configuration files are coming up here. We normally configure main.cf for configuring the basic postfix server. But a couple of students uh, has asked me or I've, I've got a couple of uh, inquiries from my students that they had been asked about master.cf in their interviews. So at that point, I uh, got the need. So why not let's make a video on master.cf so that every student or everybody who is interested in going in depth of the postfix can understand the importance of the master.cf file so master.cf what is master.cf let's see okay i i have uh, made a very beautiful illustration for if, like for you to understand the concepts and i hope you will appreciate the beauty of the illustrations wow how beautiful this illustration is huh? I, okay don't don't laugh I know it's not as beautiful as I had advertised okay just try to understand the concept postfix we configure the postfix using the main.cf file and we configure a lot of parameters here uh, no doubt about that and postfix then uses couple of services to manage a mail server like it can use SMTPD SMTP service to deliver the mail it can use the pickup service to check whether uh, some mail is arrived in uh, in the mail drop queue it can use the cleanup service it can use the queue manager how like the queue for the mails and n number of services so, but we configure only main.cf and postfix further calls these services as and when required is that so actually above main.cf and the services lies our master.cf file the job of the master.cf file is to launch all other postfix services as and when they are needed and how they are run like I can configure the frequency for the pickup like the pickup service means at what time or at what interval the pickup service should go in the mail drop queue to see whether some mail has arrived there or not so in the same manner means it it is actually a master daemon that launches all other postfix services as they are needed how they are run is specified in the master.cf file is that clear we configure our parameters in the main.cf like the domain name host names and all those things but how the services will be activated how the services will be called those are working behind the scene is defined in the master.cf file I'll show you this and uh, I know that like it's but obvious that you will appreciate you must have been appreci uh, appreciated the beauty of this illustration by now wow 
I, I can be a, a Picasso um, but uh, okay fine just leave that leave that so I'll go back here again so just focusing on the main.cf file if I open the main.cf sorry the master.cf sorry if you see I'll just uh, make it a slightly smaller to make it appear on the whole screen here it comes here comes the basic syntax of the master.cf file is we have got the list of the services the type private unpriv chroot when to wake up max prox means the maximum processes so let's see obviously the service means the service name what about that the type means the list of the services goes out here you can see there SMTP is coming up here pickup is coming up here cleanup all these services are being run by the or needed by the postfix to manage a efficient mailing system that's fine I have no issues in that so the service list goes out here then comes the transport type type is actually the transport type so you will normally find three types of values here whether it's INIT FIFO or UNIX INIT let's focus on INIT INIT if you can see INIT appearing against a service that means that this service has to be accessed or being used for communication with different machines means my clients different machines on the network it actually uses a, combina a combination of host and port like IP and port it's actually a network socket so if INET is coming up here means this service will be accessed by the outside clients if FIFO and UNIX is coming up there against a service that means these are actually the name pipes means these services will be used for communication between the process on the same machine these services will never be used by a client on my network whereas INIT will be used by the clients on my network that's great I I hope you understand the idea behind the type okay one more is the private what is private private it's not uh, saving private RAN that was a beautiful Hollywood movie the private here means that if it is no here or yes here you can have two values out here private no means this service is not restricted to be used by postfix you can see there normally means like obviously SMTP has is to be used by the clients those are on my network so private if you see a yes here that means that component is restricted to be used by postfix only if it is no here it it means the clients or the machines over the network can access it so private yes or no obviously the init has to be no init cannot be yes because as init by itself says that it it has to be used by a different uh, IP or a different client over the network then comes unpriv unpriv is very important what actually happens that postfix runs with the least privileges by default when you install the postfix I'll show you postfix automatically create a user by the service name I, I just done the cat etc password here it is postfix so what actually happens postfix runs with least privileges and by default it uses this postfix user account to run the service fine if it is yes here if you if you see unpriv yes by default it's yes the default values are here yes the default values are coming up in here in the bracket unpriv yes means these services will be run using the normal postfix user if you see a no here anywhere here that means that service need root rights to run so that is the idea behind unpriv then one more very important is the wake up wake up as I told you earlier in my beautiful illustration that oh oh sorry 
what happens I don't know here it is as I told you earlier that the frequency when the when the services will be waked up is defined in the master.cf file so wake up is actually a, a column or a value where you can define that at what interval the services need to be run again something like cron tab for a particular service fine so wake up means the component need to be kicked or it need to run into the action after a particular in, uh, interval of time as I can show you the example here against the pickup service you can see that the pickup has been configured to run after every 60 seconds to check if any mail arrives in the mail drop queue or not so obviously you can change the frequency to check the mail drop queue as per your preferences and zero means no wake up or a hyphen here means no wake up then comes max proc max proc says it defines the limit on the number of processes that can be evoked or invoked simultaneously like pickup can be runs only once obviously zero means no limit so number of simultaneous process for a particular service will be defined under the max proc and obviously then comes the command so this is the basic concept behind the master.cf file so in a nutshell it master.cf controls I'll go back to my beautiful illustration once again I know you are dying to see it okay let me repeat the crux of the video master.cf launches all other postfix services those are needed by the postfix it controls when they are needed when they are to be kicked on when they are to be activated and how they are run so that is defined in the master.cf file so i hope uh, though we uh, like uh, we can configure master.cf as per our uh, preferences but uh, at this level the basic uh, or the the idea behind the video was that just to make you understand the importance of master.cf file within the postfix environment so I hope you like this video thank you very much God bless see you soon once again rocking